So here we are in Google Earth. We'll just start heading west and you can see how immense the Pacific Ocean is. Here's Hawaii right in the middle of the screen. Keep on heading west uh, quite a few thousand miles till we get to Australia. And now we've got Perth right here in the middle of the screen and I understand we're focused about 1200 miles to the west which is about uh, here. So we're going to go ahead and descend now, uh, set our eye altitude down to we're about 18,000 feet here and enter flight simulator mode. We won't need the flaps or the gear for what we're going to do here. Uh, currently traveling through 11,000 feet here, descending at a steep angle uh, with our F-16 style simulator. So we'll start leveling off uh, on the surface here is a couple hundred feet. Traveling north, uh, the terrain that we want to look at is to the south, so we'll pick up a southeasterly heading here. And we're going to dive down below the ocean now. Uh, neat thing about Google Earth is that we can uh, enter and not crash into the ocean floor. Uh, but it's kind of funny, you will crash if you hit the uh, seafloor. So what, what I mean is uh, you can't crash hitting the ocean surface with Google Earth, but you can by hitting the seafloor bed. Uh, on the left here, down here, actually shows our height above the seafloor here. Uh, 3,000 feet, so it's showing terrain about 13,000 feet below sea level. Uh, on the speed up here to the left, that is the, uh, that's our speed, uh, close to twice the speed of sound in uh, air uh, down in the ocean. I think it's about eight times faster, something like that. So, uh, but uh, pretty much nothing travels at the speed below the ocean. Um, if we have to go and start searching for things in the ocean. Uh, we're going to have to go about a thousand times as slow as this. So um, this is a nice advantage to simulation. I understand that the, this data comes to us uh, pretty much by uh, um, by the uh, NOAA's uh, geologic survey. Um, and I believe what Google Earth has done is they've basically just taken simple uh, simple depth uh, data and digitized it into a 3D environment and kind of given it a uh, appearance that we have uh, um, a little bit better data than we probably have for, for this year. But, but this is probably a pretty good approximation. So you can see, even in this is kind of the, the only trench area here, this trench, there's not, or I should say ridge area here, there's not a lot of, uh, of trenches here where if we have to go looking uh, and aircraft components have fallen to the seabed floor, um, we're not liable to uh, have too hard a time finding a pinger or even using sonar data getting a, a, a visual uh, a visual um, echo from the sonar from uh, what they use as primarily side scan sonar to compile this data and to uh, to, it, it gives a very good uh, visual approximation of what's down there and uh, it's a line of sight technology as well as the pinger so uh, just as long as nothing is tucked in very close inside maybe one of these corners down here somewhere in there or something like that where there's where it's just basically shadowed by terrain um, there's a good chance that we're going to be able to uh, to see 
that stuff if we have any idea at all uh, where to look. But of course, we're navigating this terrain now again about a thousand times as fast as a submarine would be able to look. So uh, you're talking about a lot of space and uh, and uh, not a very fast speed capability. I'm going to go ahead and just give uh, you guys a little bit more uh, media to clip from in case you like some of this uh, video better than the rest of it. You can have fun and do aileron rolls and up here the advantages of simulation And like I explained, pretty much anybody can pull this up. Uh, all you got to do is load Google Earth, and, and I think you might have to load a Google Ocean plugin. Um, this is hooked up to a, uh, a fighter-style joystick that I have. Um, probably not everybody can fly quite to this degree. I spent about seven years flying B1s in the Air Force, so that gives me a little bit of advantage. But uh, Getting the basic capability, pretty much anybody can do, should they desire. Um, okay, we found uh, we found a trench in here. Let's see if we can't just tuck in here. We'll try to slow down. Closer to that than we were. And uh, I don't know, for some reason our flaps fell down. So this is one of the only trenches that I've seen exploring this area. Looks like to a certain degree that may be some artificial um, combination of, uh, looks like they're trying to combine databases there and uh, you can see that artificial delineation there from Google Earth so I'm not quite sure how realistic uh, or meaningful that, that trench is that we were looking there. That could have been just the side of one chart meeting the side of uh, another. But I do see one other trench coming up here. We'll just go ahead and uh, push it up and try to get over to that. Oh, that must be another network calling. So, uh, 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 you caught me. It's just my kid's school.
Okay, that's probably enough. We'll go ahead and uh, terminate it here.